the first thing is to accept. Don't stay in denial. Accept that for true, mm. your husband, your wife cheated on you. Mm -hmm. And then uh, after now you have accepted, mm. you now begin the journey of healing. Yeah. Mm. Healing is a process and we don't know how much a person may go through the process because different people react differently. But there's always a process of healing mm -hmm. and I think the, the reason why most people don't heal mm -hmm. is because they stay at the first stage called denial. Mm -hmm. okay. They are still wondering, I can't believe this. You have someone saying, I can't, and something happened two, three years ago, I can't believe this. Mm -hmm. When someone says, I can't believe this, mm -hmm. it means they have never accepted so mm. denial is the worst stage because mm. the minute you accept mm. then everything else your mind your emotions and your will begin to roll mm. on the journey of of healing mm. healing but when you stay at denial mm. you are denying the facts you are denying the truth mm. of what happened mm. that's why you find so many people getting deeper and, be and becoming so caught up in that situation. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is to accept. Don't stay in denial. Accept mm -hmm. that for true, mm -hmm. your husband, your wife cheated on you. Mm -hmm. And then uh, after now you have accepted, mm -hmm. you now begin the journey of healing. Maybe, because maybe just as you continue, mm -hmm. what is the role of this person who is uh, uh, grieving mm -hmm. or the person who is feeling wounded mm -hmm. and the role of the other person who caused the issue? I think both of them, mm. because you see, if, if for example is cheating, mm. this person who cheated never thought the wife would know. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or the husband would yeah. know. Mm. So both of them are actually suffering. Mm. Yes. They all, all of them need to go the same process. <laughs> it's not the process Amazing. of one person. Yeah. Both of yeah. them are So both they of them to, hurt. For them yeah. to heal, mm. they have to go this process of not denying. Mm. Mm. And that's why you find when a couple, well, let's say for example a couple is cheating, mm. and you find your wife and she denies, mm. chances of her repeating the same mistake is very high. Mm. Because she has not accepted. Okay. You're getting that. So, if so when a person checks full responsibility, mm -hmm. that means that is a, a yes. journey of repentance. Yeah. Right? Both of them are both suffering because yes. they also don't know the reaction of the other person. So mm -hmm. both of them are actually psychologically tortured. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mentally they are not okay. Mm -hmm. Remember, mm -hmm. uh, the, for you to have good mental health, we always say you draw a line. Mm -hmm. Like the way you draw a line downwards yes so at the top here mm. we call it uh, good mental health yes okay and then down here mm. the end of that line mm -hmm. we call it poor mental health mm. so you are either at good mm. mental health <laughs> yes. or poor mental yeah. health or yes. you're in between okay <laughs> confused <laughs> mental health yeah that somewhere process, managing wow. <laughs> that process yeah. you're getting that so mm. yes. most of the couples are actually in the process going downwards Mm -hmm. And most of the people are within, in between that line now, mm -hmm. no. going downwards, mm -hmm. unless there is intervention, mm -hmm. professional intervention or spiritual intervention. Yeah. Wow. You know, when you talk about spiritual intervention, you're not talking about only mm -hmm. prayers only, mm -hmm. but you're also talking about be you being taught the word, mm -hmm. you wow. having someone who can walk the journey with you yeah. through the scriptures and renewing your mind. Yeah. Wow. So that's the way mental health is. Mm -hmm. So the first first part that is actually psychologically affected is the mind, mm -hmm. wow. because you can't can't have infidelity without your mind. Mm. Your mind must have been involved. Mm -hmm. You must have planned for this. Mm -hmm. And that's why we say infidelity is not an accident. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. It's not an I just found myself in it. No. Infidelity <laughs> it is, is a no. pre-plan. <laughs> Even often. when you are drunk, you also are drinking so that you ignore, you know, that yes. consciousness. Yeah. You, yeah. knew, you knew you knew what is going to happen because yeah. even when you are drinking you can be able to tell the way the party is going mm. I, we are yes. going to sex yes. that's a challenge that we yes. have now so yeah. the reason why there is all this 
psychological torture is these people, this person has not gone through the process of, of acceptance. Mm. They are always in denial. And as long as you're in denial, you will never heal. Mm. Because you trusted your husband 100%, you trusted your wife 100%. So when this person now cheats on you, mm. you feel no, like you can't take it. Because I'm a shikwa. I'm a shikwa. <laughs> Because until you are caught, yeah. you, you still you are surviving and you are pretending all is well. Yeah. When you are caught, yeah. that's now when the reality hits on us.